And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu LeBlanc. We're going to play another Lulu deck. We got LeBlanc to pair with Lulu. This should be a lot of fun. Trying this one out here on our meme tier Monday, Tuesday edition. Uh, this one is going to be, we're going to be attacking. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to have our five plus power allies. We're going to have LeBlanc attacking. Lulu can make, um, you know, things turn into four fours. But if you have a leveled up Lulu, it can, uh, whenever you support, you turn things into five fives, which, you know, five fives are going to be really good to help with our reputation for whispered words um, and everything like that. We have uh, some quick attack. Our, our other support card is going to be Legion Drummer giving quick attack. Um, and then, of course, LeBlanc already has quick attack. And uh, so if we can get some some quick attack, then if we then we can use Flurry of Fists um, to be able to grant something plus one plus zero and double attack if it already has quick attack so like we could have like a leblanc turn that into a six power double attack and then also use a might make that nine power and double attack with the overwhelm will do a ton a ton of damage so that that should be a really cool combination there with those cards um, we got some interaction with like fervor death's hand for some removal that can also do some nexus damage for us we have some other five power stuff, you know, Glory Seeker, Hopeful, Thorn of the Rose. Um, should be really cool. Then Cato the Arm also given that Overwhelm at the top end. So, going to be a lot about attacking, curving out. Let's see how we do here with Lulu LeBlanc. So, we're just playing it normal with it being uh, more of a meme tier deck and us just kind of trying it out. Um, but, of course, we still play against good decks in normal. We got Twisted Fate Swain to start with. Twisted Fate Swain is a deck that usually does great against small unit decks. Whenever I've played, I've played a good amount of Lulu decks in the past, and I've always hated this matchup because they just do such a good job of like killing our stuff. So I think this is a pretty poor matchup for us. Let's try this. I think we're gonna keep the Death Sand to be able to kill. Hooray! Um, kill something. Like Twisted Fate, Spray Pin, Petty Officer, something. I don't know. We'll we'll figure out something to kill with this. For the Empire. I'm expecting the two drop. No, okay. They were just waiting on Death Sand also. Um. So if I play LeBlanc. They kill LeBlanc. It's. I mean, I guess it's if they have you know another Death Sand, we'd want to have Lulu instead. But I don't. We're gonna play LeBlanc. If this was like a challenger, because I don't really want to play Lulu, and then they just play Petty Officer. I'll show the hunters. And then like the Petty Officer blocks my Lulu. I didn't want that to happen. Definitely twisted fate. The thing is, I'm I'm the aggressor. Like they can they can do that. Yep. Hold it, partner. I stand for Noxus. Lady Luck is smiling. Twisted fate, Swain. Really hope we get to support this affectionate poro, make it a 4-4. Four, four. Perfect. Demons are easy, mister. Elephloops are hard. Okay. Finally, some action. So which one of these do I want to challenge? It's not the Twisted Fate. If I go the 3-2, then they can have Swain block Lulu. That means they have Twisted Fate block one of these. They take seven. If it's, but then if it's the Swain, they go block, block, but then these two are both dead. So they're both dead either way. <clears throat> Their Swain took a lot more damage, though, if I do that. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is our challenge. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay. They're letting me keep Lulu alive, but killing... Both of my things doing damage. So the important part, of course, about Swain, you know, Swain's at two health now. Good for Death's hand. I 
They're just going to pass to me. I can just attack again. Well, that's nice of them. Saving Might for, like, Culling Strike. That's what I, I kind of hope they play Culling Strike. Another one of those. Come on, play Culling Strike, play Culling Strike. Darn. Oh, I should have, I could have mited my Poro, couldn't I? But I don't know, I just wanted to respond to the calling strike. Miting the Poro would have been lethal. But they, again, could probably have done the one damage. I don't, I don't think it would have been, like, it would have been presenting lethal, but I don't, I don't think it would have worked against this, because this deck just is all about lots of removal. So while I would have presented lethal, I don't think it would have worked, to be honest. Something for all of you. Well, we're about to find out if they have... Victory requires you said you didn't think they had the, the one damage thing. We're about to find out. No, they definitely... Well, they had... <laughs> so they had Mega Rain <coughs> in hand. Well... Okay, we basically just need to draw any threat, any attacker, and hope they don't have a removal spell. Any attacker and them not having a removal spell, they're dead. Any attacker. Well, now I, I don't know if I'll have the mana, so, okay. Well, just hope they don't have a removal spell. They could just take it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Stolen? Stolen! Wow. Stolen. I think against Azir Quinn, we're mulliganing this, and I kind of want to mulligan this hopeful. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan the hopeful. Prediction started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all about Noxus. Noxus this, Noxus that. We protect these woods as they protect us. Everything is easier behind a map. I could see a single combat happen in here. Ready, boy. He smells something. So I got Blade Squire, LeBlanc, Guile this turn. The best lies are beautiful. Come on. Hey Skok. Sit tight and shut up. It's my time. Let's attack. What brings you here? It's a weird block. I mean, yeah, it's still that's a weird block. Okay. <clears throat> if there's no spell then. I am everywhere. 
I say like they were gonna play like a repost or something, you know, like a barrier card, and be able to keep it alive and kill my thing, but they didn't have that, so it didn't matter which one they blocked. These both dealt five, so we attacked for exactly fifteen. Perfect number to level up LeBlanc. What's up, Might? Yeah, flurry of fist, Might combo. I think it's kind of scary. We march as one, an unstoppable force. An unstoppable force. Yep, that'll do. All right, Lulu LeBlanc, two and O. Oh. It was inevitable. Okay, Aphelios and Talia. Aphelios, like. We're either going to win this game, I'm going to be pretty happy, or they're going to stabilize and then dominate us, and I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> you know, like, that's that's going to be the... Uh, those are going to be the only things. I'm either going to be really happy or really sad with this game. Hello. So we're going to get rid of our spells and keep these two. And get a one drop. No one drop. Come on. One drop. One drop. No. Force. Nice to have that one drop. If it's made of sand, yeah. I can Especially like the the one one challenger would have been awesome to have. So like I want to play Lulu this turn so that I can go hopeful drummer. But I can't really play Lulu into this roiling sands. Stupid rock hopper. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Zue. I go, I go. I'm sorry, Lulu. Yeah, so that that's my plan is level up Lulu. Hmm. This would make more sense to do this, this, this. Yeah, that'd make a lot more sense. Um. Yep, that works. I guess maybe it's just Lulu in the front as the three four, but I w I want Lulu to stay a three four. But you know, if I go Lulu in the front, I can make this thing. You know, like this a four four and then this quick attack. Like they couldn't they couldn't trade with a Legion drummer if I go Lulu in the front. But they could put Lulu down to being one health, and I think I'd rather them trade with a Legion drummer than put Lulu to one health. Oh, or they just trade with two Legion drummers. That hurt trading with two Legion drummers hurts my fury flurry of fists. For now. Yeah, we get to barrier Lulu. As darkness falls, the moon makes perfect. I don't I don't feel like Rock Hopper is annoying. Lame. Come on, unit. Something to play. Something to support. Blade Squire. You're something to play, something to support. No! Why? Why? Well. Finally, some action. Deal with it. No. 
Just want to spend some mana, right? Play a Felios, so I'll be sad. Cool. Ready. I'll show the hunters. Let's put them to six. <clears throat> I don't I don't think you just go in uh, like all in on mites, because like they got like they're probably a hush deck, right? So I hope we get the quick attack reforge. It turned out like my <clears throat> Lulu support really ended up backfiring with them, killing both of my Legion drummers that other turn. We got the Overwhelm. Is there a chance? Is there a chance they can't deal with this LeBlanc? Maybe they don't have Hush. Time to make an appearance. They're just chilling with multiple Ophelios in hand. They already played one, they had the other two in hand also. Um, I played the LeBlanc here, I was thinking like they were going to be getting the two-cost follower, like Rock Hopper, and I wasn't exactly sure if Rock Hopper was a player or a summon. Okay, but they're just getting messengers. I think I'm just going to go for the, like, obviously we lose a longer game, I think I'm just going to go for it. I think. I think I just go for it. I don't want them. I don't want to play the affection portal and let them stun. We know they have another moon weapon. It could definitely be the stun one. I'm not sure which one it is, but it could definitely be that. I probably should just play this over this fragment first. No, because then they don't block. Yeah, I think I think we're on Yolo Flurry combo. I don't think it gets better for me moving forward. They have a million cards, so. I don't think it's better for me. Here we go. Do we steal another one? Eight cards. Steal. Take it. Take it. Take it. Okay. That's still lethal. That's a good sign. That's still four. So this is 14 damage, right? Because it's double attack. 7 times 2 is 14. Wow, that looks pretty cool, too. It's, like, all fiery and stuff. Double attack overwhelm. 14 minus the 2. Still 12. There we go. Stole it. One step closer. To the edge. <laughs> the world is a good place without Hush. That is what we're doing. We're asking the question, do you have Hush? If you don't, you lose. Okay. So, probably want to mulligan Flurry of Fists to start with. One drop. How many one drops do we have in here? It's not enough. We have the six one drops. We're not good at drawing the six one drops. Wow, all spells. Um, I don't really want to make that attack and put the hopeful down to one health for uh, Vile Feast and that kind of stuff. So Jaw Hunters is a card. I'm not going to just play... Like, I am relying on this Lulu, I think. So I don't really want to just play Lulu and then they Jaw Hunters and challenge and kill Lulu. And then I'm sad. 
That taste of purple. I want to draw two. No, I'll save my mana. <laughs> All these spells and none of them are might. We need might. All these spells, no mights. Yes, I think, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, this is granting, and so, yes, it will grant double attack even if the quick attack goes away at the end of the round, so, you know, if you have, um, the blade fragment that's only quick attack for the end of the round, it, the flurry of the fist is still staying, it's still, it's still granting, that doesn't change. Need a mite. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. This is a weird block, but all right. They've had a great tossing hand. Turn six deep. About, about to level up Maokai also. I should probably draw some cards before their Maokai gets leveled up. Before we have no cards in our deck anymore. Good thing I did that. But didn't draw might. That's the that's the one card I want to draw from now on. Might. Kato is kind of might, but Kato, we can't like we can't support for quick, for quick attack and also support for overwhelm together. We can't do both. I don't know if we can win it from here. They're still at 20. They're deep. They've leveled up Maokai. We have, at most, two attacks. I don't know if it's realistic for us to win it from here. Yeah, we won't mill out because yeah, we can we can use the whimsy champion spell, so we won't we won't mill out. But that doesn't mean that we can win just because we won't. You know, like <laughs> whimsy doesn't win the game, right? Like even if we just draw whimsy every single turn, that doesn't mean that we that we can win the game. Yeah, they've really played like they've had more vile fees. Wait. 
Okay, that's a might. It's a start. Start for winning the game next turn. Not, not really this turn. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to win. Like we're we're gonna have to do all twenty damage next turn. But I I guess I can shuffle, you know, I'll be able to shuffle Lulu back. No, don't have that card. We want some kind of good news. It's they don't have very many cards in hand. So Devour Depths, what, cost two mana, right, still? Yes, yeah, so they can't cast Devour Depths right now, right? I don't think so. so I think we're safe to play this. Me, me, me. It's not game over yet. Yes, okay. Even better. Ugh, yuck. Yeah, toss those things. I don't want you drawing those. Yes, toss those. Alright, they toss three Devour Depths. How do they have this one then? The Slaughter Docks? Right. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna barrier. Not if it really matters. We'll just barrier you. We're just burying the th bar barriering the thing that can block for the with the most power. No. Do I fervor and block? Lock something with fervor. <sighs> or with the whimsy, I mean. So yeah, so we're gonna have to whimsy something. So we, we're gonna take 13, go to three, I think. So I think I'm gonna just die to atrocity. I don't I don't think I can really stay alive with atrocity. Anyway. I'd have to like block everything to not, I think we just have to die to atrocity. This is us going to three. The blessed isles live through me. Yuck. All right, something good. Give, Give me something good. good. Okay. So assuming they have no fast spell at all, we can... What's the most amount of damage we can put on one thing? I guess I have a deny also, though. So if we go flurry... So if we'd have to, like, go here. So that's five. Flurry it. Six. Nine. Twelve. Yeah. So this kills them. And... Uh, but that is just the one power thing. So it's probably better to do it on the three health thing instead of the one health thing so I don't have to worry about stupid Vile Feast. Okay, so you're, we're going to Vulnerable... Oh, it doesn't really matter. Vulnerable... You. Challenge here, challenge here. Okay, so how am I doing that? Okay, so this that thing has the, the double attack. So we go double attack. Overwhelm. It really just doesn't. None of these other attackers matter. Oh, I can't. Okay, wait. Okay, let's let's just see what they do. Okay, so I didn't have to do any of that first. Let's just see what they do. So I I can't I can't play this this 
and have deny. Hmm. I will not rest. I wish I would have had more time to like really think about this. Oh, it doesn't have double attack right now. No, I messed this all up. It doesn't have double attack right now. Well, that thing already has overwhelm though. Oh, so I need to over. I don't. What am I do? I don't even know what I'm doing. This was really embarrassing. <laughs> this, this was just completely embarrassing. Okay, so I kind of panicked there that last turn and tried to go way too fast and stuff. And, um, you know, I was just worried. I was just kind of worried about the time and thinking about too much stuff and thinking about, like, all my... Yeah, just thinking about way too much stuff. Basically, what I needed to do... So I was worried about, like, vile, like trying to protect from vile away... So I, I wanted to be able to um, give my Kato the Arm all the all the stuff because Kato the Arm didn't have one health. But honestly, I think I probably should have just gone for the... And so the reason to do that would be that I wouldn't have to worry about both them having both a Vile Feast and a Vengeance or Atrocity or Riptide. Right? I wouldn't have to do both of those. But if I, if I go all in on the... Glory Seeker, then I have to worry about them having those two cards. But with... <clears throat> I I was one off on the mana, though, so I, I really couldn't cast the um, help picks. That that really... That cost me and kind of messed me up, besides me just mistiming everything. So what I should have done is just attack with everything. And the reason to attack with everything is because it forces your opponents to block and it gives you a second priority. So kind of, you know, attack with everything. But the key thing was I needed to have Legion Drummer support Glory Seeker and have Glory Seeker challenge a one health thing. All right, do that. Let them do their blocks. And then afterwards, then go all in on the Glory Seeker. And if they had two cards, two cards of interaction, then I lose. But I, I could still keep one deny available. But I could I could go, because with 13 mana, I can cast Flurry of the Fist, Might, Might, and then still have deny available. And I so I need to do that on the Glory Seeker. I, I thought I would have one extra mana to be able to not use the glory seeker but i didn't have that um that luxury so because putting that cutting putting all that on the glory seeker made the glory seeker would make the glory seeker um you know very lethal and so yeah that's that's what i needed to do so um yeah i kind of panicked and everything <laughs> that was embarrassing and i just threw threw that game away but um next time if you're trying to deck, try try doing that I mean, not necessarily technically 4-0, because we don't know what else was in their hand. So, like, if they would have had, you know, we we know they had that Riptide that they played. If they would have had any other interaction card, they would have had a Vile Feast, a Withering Whale, a Grass the Undying, a Vengeance, a Atrocity. Any other fast speed card, we would have lost that. If they had none of them, we would have won. If they would have had, if I would have done what I said to do. But it wasn't, wasn't, you know, it wasn't like I definitely had that win. Yeah, they could have had another Riptide, right? Like, if they would have just had, like, their, you know, their other Nautiluses. Okay, now we're facing all Nuxus. Definitely keeping LeBlanc. Let's just mulligan all the spells. We have, like, that last game, we have been, like, just drawing way too many spells too often, and we're doing a really poor job of having a one-mana card on turn one. Except for this game. And now we finally found a one-drop. Like, we have six one-drops. And the one-drops are important with our different support cards. But we had been doing a poor job of finding them. I'm only missing out on one damage here. I could attack immediately, get one damage in. And we'll see. Yeah, it's so like Legion Grenadier. Eh, I don't really want to... I don't really want to trade my Glory Seeker for Legion Grenadier. So I missed out on a point of damage. But I think it, it's just one point. I think it's worth, like, the potential if they don't have anything or if they have something that I challenge here and we get to do five. You know, like, we had a lot of potential there. That is only throwing away one point. Nope, not really. Surprised to see me. Oh, 
Okay. We don't get the little block in right away, but I have this fervor to respond to different stuff. Death Lotus. Ouch, that's a great Death Lotus. That kills, you know, like both these. That's a great card. Wow. Yeah, sometimes you just get got. So, I mean, I guess I'll try doing this. And hope that works. Hope they don't also have a Whirling Death. Wow. They also have a Whirling Death or a Death... Yeah, a Death Sand. Wow. We got got. Oh, well. They had two cards. I had one, they had two. Not done yet. Good draw. For the Empire. Oh, we simply must stop meeting like this. It's always nice to see a familiar face. My move. And I, I played the little Blanc because I want to have a Noxus card in play before my hopeful next turn. Ow. I stand for Noxus. So I could give the line. give the Lulu plus one plus zero and quick attack, but I'm just gonna. I guess I guess I just let him trade, and I have my new Lulu. Yeah. I could, you know, I could whimsy, but I think I might as well just play new Lulu instead of whimsy. And I will draw two. Okay, so we have to just stay alive this turn. And then next turn, we got lots of damage. Stay alive. It's surprisingly difficult to turn on Reputation. Four times to hit for five plus damage is so difficult. That's what I've just kind of learned throughout playing games with these Reputation decks. Like, Whispered Words is basically always four mana. It's really difficult to have that be anything else. What a treat. Yep. <clears throat> it's kind of, this is the theme of our deck. We just try to steal games and just try to combo them out here. And if they have interaction, uh, you know, good luck for us. You know, like, if they have interaction, then we lose. But, you know, we're going to be going for the win here. Uh, so we'll have seven mana next turn. This costs six. So that means I'll have one extra mana. Because basically, I'm thinking, like, do I cast Whisper Words right now? So if I cast Whisper Words, we only have one extra mana next turn. So probably not, because there's not really anything that we can draw for one mana. But, like, we could draw a Deny. I kind of feel like we need another Deny in here. Okay, so now I could play the Glory Seeker. And... I kind of want to play the Glory Seeker. Yeah. Victory requires a sharp blade. Because if things go wrong and they stop me from winning, I can probably kill their attacker. Good deny. Nothing personal. Remember me. 
Oh no! Oh, that is a card. So the plan was here was like that I had this to block an open attack. Yeah, I wanted to keep deny available to protect this. You know, like the, basically, you know, I really wanted to keep this available to protect the win the next turn. Kato or Might was the cards that killed me. Um, yeah. So, good game. I don't really regret that. I, I think I would do the same move again. It's it was like two cards that killed me were Kato and Might. Uh, but they, if they had those, like the, if they had might the previous turn, they would have killed me. And I don't really, yes, I know I could have open attacked because the slow stun. They already played one of those slow stuns though, and like, how many of those guiles are they actually playing? And they, they'd already played one, right? Like, are they playing all three copies? Like, I don't think it was that likely that they just had another guile, but they, they did. But because I, I thought it, yeah. So it wasn't that likely that they had another one, but they did. But then, even if they did have one, you know, I, I was going to be able to take out that LeBlanc. That was nice. I, I don't, I, they just had, like, the cards that, that did punish the lines that I took. But I think I would take the exact same line again. I think that that, I think we, yeah, I, I liked both of the lines that I did. Oh, Arachnoid Sentry. Yeah, I guess Arachnoid Sentry is a thing. I was only thinking, like, the Guile, and I was thinking, they already played one. Yeah, I guess Arachnoid Sentry is a thing. Whisper words look pretty expensive. We, you probably need some card draw in this kind of deck, but maybe not. I don't know. This looked pretty expensive. It was just, it's, it's only, you know, it's four mana all the time. But our deck is so cheesy and so aggro cheesy that I don't, I don't know if this is worth it because we would, because, you know, we would just start games with whisper words in our opening hand, like after we draw, and it made it more difficult to curve out because we just had like this card that didn't do anything. So I, I don't know that this card's worth it. I, I feel like we should maybe just have, um, you know, like an like one or two more one drops in here and then like another deny or two instead of these whispered words. Uh, Cause I just, I just don't know if like, yeah, I just don't know if that's really worth it. I, I did want like another deny, maybe even a notify. Um, and then just another couple one drops, like some precious pets that, you know, you, you can give this, you know, this has fearsome. That's a cool like thing to make like a four, four fearsome or whatever. Or, you know, just, like, something else, like, right? Because I think this kind of deck, you have to, like, just curve out and be real aggressive and kill them right away. And I just, I felt like those those four mana draw twos, they didn't help our game plan. And they they basically helped in the games that our opponent had already kind of won, basically. That's what, that's what I'm kind of, kind of felt like. So I could see just putting in some, you know, just not even worrying about the card draw. Because this, this deck isn't about card draw. It's not about outlasting the opponent. Actually, no, I wouldn't play Precious, but I would play, I would play Rush. Rush is great. Yeah, we need Rush in here, because we didn't, it's, it was difficult for us to do the whole quick, to get quick attack. Rush saves a lot of things, too. I think Rush really works perfectly with Legion Drummer and Lulu. I love, uh, yeah, I love Rush in this kind of deck. That's what I do. Get rid of those Whisper Words, get another Deny, and two Rush in here. But it was still pretty fun. It's always fun playing Lulu decks. I enjoy playing Lulu decks. I wish that the game four didn't end the way that it did. Can't change that now, but I kind of panicked there. And, uh, yeah, really messed up that Flurry of Fists. I was just thinking about other stuff whenever I was casting Flurry of Fists and really mistimed it and messed that game up. That would have been interesting to see if they had another piece of interaction that would have saved them. But that was still fun. That was a, a fun deck to play, and I, you got to love the Flurry of Fists plus Might combo and just stealing games with that. You got to love doing that. That's that's always a good time. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Lulu LeBlanc, and I'll see you for the next video.